Yo, what is up, guys? Back into the channel. So as of right now, I'm going to be talking about the top saddest comic book movie slash show deaths. All right, let's get into the, let's get into the video. Number one, Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. All right, he is number one on this list. You know what I'm saying? Because like he literally like if if, if like he him and Tobey Maguire Spider Man started out the whole superhero wave of movies. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, you know what I'm saying? They were, like, the face of, of 2000 uh, superheroes, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah, um, this was, like, a g final goodbye to his character. This was a beautiful ending. I mean, it's obviously, it's brutal and sad. But, you know what I'm saying? It's a goodbye movie to his character. This movie is definitely one of the best comic book movies, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to make a video about that also. But, yeah, it's very sad. But, yeah. Um, Next up, we got Iron Man. Tony Stark death all right this, this is my bad um this um this this death scene is really really sad this is literally like like the perfect ending to a character when he says i am iron man that is literally one of the best lines <clears throat> in a comic book movie death scene you know what i'm saying <clears throat> and yeah it's really sad that that um he died you know what i'm saying um and yeah Super sad and yeah, the way the way they 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 did it, the way the like how they did it was beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Endgame, End Avengers Endgame is a masterpiece movie, and yeah, I love the movie. So yeah, next up we got Black Widow. It was so unexpected, honestly. I did not expect her to die, but sadly she did. You know what I'm saying? Extremely sad. Um, <clears throat> and yeah. Super sad and yeah, I, I I feel like feel like I feel like because we didn't even get time to say goodbye to her character. You know what I'm saying? Like 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 in Logan. You know what I'm saying? This was like a, his last movie, so we could have we could have said goodbye. You know what I'm saying? Same with Endgame. It was goodbye to Iron Man. You know what I'm saying? Goodbye to Tony Stark. Goodbye to Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man. And and yeah, we didn't we didn't think that she was gonna die. You know what I'm saying? Like. Like we didn't like we didn't know that you know what I'm saying obviously like it's it's a final it's the it's a conclusion to the ten year infinity saga you know what I'm saying so obviously like like people were meant to die you know what I'm saying but like we didn't think it would be her you know what I'm saying so yeah we didn't really get to you know, it was basically like we were kind of like forced to say goodbye you know what I'm saying which you know what I'm saying I'm I'm saying like 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 the, the, that's like the, how that's how sad the death was you know what I'm saying and unexpected it was but you know what I'm saying it's really sad and yeah. Next up, we got... And yeah, it was really sad, you know what I'm saying? I feel like A Crisis on Infinite Earth was really, really awesome, you know what I'm saying? I definitely want to do a video talking about that, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's really sad that, you know what I'm saying, Oliver sacrificed himself for the DC multiverse. So yeah, it's extremely sad and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, um, yeah, this death was pretty, really, really, really sad. I, 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 you know what I'm saying? If you don't, if you don't know... Um, Arrow is my, f Arrow is my favorite live action DC character. Um, so yeah, it's, it was really sad seeing him go, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, like, I, I do anything to see, um, Stephen Amell return as Arrow, you know what I'm saying? He's the he's the perfect casting. I love the way he portrayed Arrow, like, you know what I'm saying? No offense, I didn't really like the comic version of, of Green Arrow, you know what I'm saying? It's like a jokester type thing, no. I like how he's so serious and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? I love this version of Green Arrow, yeah. Next up, we got Gwen Stacy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I feel like this this death is definitely up there with the saddest deaths. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, we have to say goodbye to um Gwen. St I mean, I mean, I mean, sorry, sorry, sorry. I mean, I mean, like it was so unexpected. Like, like um, like we, like we're always so used to seeing the superhero save the girl. You know what I'm saying? We're always so used to seeing the superhero save. You know what I'm saying? It kind of became like a stereotype. And like, and like uh, every Spider-Man movie, like he saves the girl. You know what I'm saying? But like this one, like showed us like the hero. This this scene, this movie definitely changed super movies. You know what I'm saying? Like it showed us that not, the hero doesn't always win in the end. You know what I'm saying? And that's what that's that's what was really sad. Like he won the fight against the villains, but at what cost? You know what I'm saying? At the cost of losing. You know what I'm saying, Gwen? So yeah, it was really sad and yeah, um, it's super sad and yeah. Next up, we got Mystique from X Men: Dark Phoenix. Um, that death was super sad. You know what I'm saying? That when the part when Hank was crying, cause like they try to warn Charles. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that was really sad when she when she was when when she was cr when I mean when she was dying. You know what I'm saying? 
that was really sad. Like, like honestly, I did not know Mystique was gonna die. I did not know she was gonna die. Um, I watched like the tra obviously I watched the trailers like before the movie, but like apparently, like after I saw the movie, apparently like it was a big thing. Apparently like 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 it was obvious that she was gonna die. But I was like, what? But not nah, um, it's extremely sad. You know what I'm saying? Her her death like ha it like, had a big impact on this movie, and yeah, super sad. You know what I'm saying? Jennifer Lawrence is amazing perfect for the role as of mystique i hope they bring her back into the mcu at least for a cameo in doctor strange multiverse of madness but yeah okay now we're going to yondu okay in guardians of the galaxy 2 this scene was sad it really showed that he really did care for um quill you know what i'm saying he said I, for, I forgot how he said it but he said he may have been your father but he wasn't your daddy you know what i'm saying Cause like Yandu may have been effed up, know what I'm saying? He might have been really messed up, but he did really care for Quill, you know what I'm saying? He 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 raised him, kinda, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, um, yeah, this scene was super super sad. Um, Yandu Yandu was a great character. I I loved him in the Guardians in the first two Guardians movie, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, super sad. And then we got Rick Flag. Okay, people are gonna be like, yo, why you got this in your top saddest? Because, like, Rick Flagg, like, he, he was just a soldier. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to get, and I'm going to make, one day I'm going to make a video of, like, my the greatest, um like, 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 top comic book movie scenes. And this, this uh, scene where they're, they're, they're questioning each other, I'm going to explain why it's, it's such a great scene. But as of right now, um Rick Flagg, he's super, it's super, super, super sad because, like, Rick Flagg, you know what I'm saying? He was just a soldier doing his job, you know what I'm saying? And, like... He didn't. He didn't need to die for that. You know what I'm saying? Like I get it, Peacemaker. Like he didn't want no. He didn't. He wants to keep the peace. You know what I'm saying? I get. I get it. I get it. But like at like at the, at the same like I, I don't know. It's hard for me to for me to explain it now. That's why I have to make a video soon. But yeah, it's just it was just really sad. Rick Flag didn't have to die. But yeah. All right, guys. Ne next up, we got Harry Osborn. Okay, he has one of the best redemption stories. It, um uh, so for me at the time uh, harry osborne and um spider-man versus sandman and venom this was like the mini like at the time this was my my avengers endgame ending battle like bro i love this scene you know what i'm saying uh but harry osborne you know what i'm saying it was, it's re really really sad that he died you know what i'm saying um yeah definitely top best one of the best um redemption stories you know what i'm saying and yeah and yeah um, super sad and 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 yeah, I'm sad. I'm sad. Um, he died. You know what I'm saying? The way he died, he said, Peter. He said, Peter, you're my best friend. You know what I'm saying? And stuff like that. It's really sad. Obviously, we got Vanessa. Um, Deadpool. Deadpool two. Her death is extremely sad. You know what I'm saying? We know Deadpool's supposed to be a funny character, but literally she died. You know what I'm saying? So that was extremely sad. And yeah, super sad. And yeah. Um, then obviously we got Lance, Lance, uh, um, Lance, um, I forgot what his last name, uh, Captain Lance, yeah, Lance, um, um, uh, so yeah, Laurel Lance, oh yeah, Captain Lance, his, his name is Lance, so, um, yeah, um, obviously, I'm gonna, I have to add this scene, cause like, there's this scene where, uh, before he dies, right, he talks to Oliver, Oliver Queen, aka Arrow, and he's like, he's like, you were kind of like a son to me, you know what I'm saying? And like, obviously, we know, obviously, throughout the series, like, we know Lance, Lance, and um, and Oliver Queen, they had their ups and downs, like crazy, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, it's pretty, really, really insane and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, I I feel real, I, feel, I feel, like I felt really sad. I remember, I remember, I remember when this first uh, uh, premiered on um C on the CW. I remember being like, what? Like I like I didn't think he was gonna die. You know what I'm saying? But it was super sad. Um, yeah, super sad. And yeah, he was just a great character. But I, I mean, I know he they brought him back. But like I I still count this as sad. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, here, okay, here. Um, this scene is really, really sad. The the, the performance Grant Gustin por portrays Flash in this scene, actually Barry Allen in this scene, is phenomenal, phenomenal. Literally, this is one of the one of the best uh, uh, sad scenes in a comic book m movie or show. You know what I'm saying? Like, literally, the acting from Grant Gustin is insane, insane. Um, this scene was super, super, super sad. 
And yeah, um, he's finally saying goodbye to his mom. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, super sad. Um, obviously here we got Big Daddy um from Kick Ass. You know what I'm saying? Obviously people are gonna be like, yo, why why'd you put him on here? You know what I'm saying? Um, I put him here because like obviously we, we, we he was only in the movie for like 30 minutes. I mean like 40 at most. You know what I'm saying? But like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I feel like definitely should be included. Um. Because, like, it was really sad for Hit Girl, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah. Um, and his legacy in, in the movie and stuff like that. So, yeah. And, obviously, Gilgamesh from Eternals. Um, super, super sad. Um, he, he died defending uh, Athena, um, Angelina Jolie's character. Super sad. He didn't have to die, man. Damn. But, yeah. Um, super sad. And then, obviously, Hank Hall from Titans. Obviously, like this, this scene, this scene was so sad. Like literally, if 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 Dove didn't pull the trigger, they would have um they would have um they would have made it. He Connor like um um Superboy would have made it in time. And the way before he dies, he looks into the um he looks into the camera. The way he looks into the camera, he, he, the the look he gives, and he's like, I know I'm about to die. Type moment. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that's the type of look he gave. He's like, I'm gonna die. And that was super. This scene was super sad. I remember they first they released the first three episodes uh, early for Titan like, because that's what HBO Max does, which I love. Um, I remember being like, "What? Like, like, like I like okay, okay, okay." It was like it was rumored and like talked about like someone somebody big will die in season three of Titans, and it they, people were saying like, I'm "Not gonna lie, there was a big part of me that thought it would be Dove." You know what I'm saying? And then there was another part of me that thought like it would probably be like um, it could, like I remember being like I remember being like it couldn't be a main member. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, what if it was Rose Rose Wilson? But apparently she 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 I mean she wasn't in the series, so I I thought it would be her, but I guess she wasn't there. Um, yeah, but yeah, this scene was super sad and yeah, and obviously we got um. Aqua Lad, you know what I'm saying? He literally just confessed his love to um Donna Troy, you know what I'm saying? And then literally Deathstroke kills him, man. Deathstroke kills him. Super sad. Um th this is definitely definitely super sad. And yeah. Uh we didn't obviously we didn't get to know him uh, much uh, like as much as we know like Dick Grayson in the show and and Jason Todd and stuff, but you know what I'm saying? We still got to we still got a good amount of flashbacks and stuff like that. So yeah. Super sad. Real quick, honorable mentions. Um, these are ones that that didn't make it to the top, but like top side of scenes. But these are honorable mentions. All right, so yeah. Groot, I am Groot. Okay, the reason why I didn't add, this scene was super sad. The reason why I didn't add this is because like obviously Groot come came back, but like this is definitely the end of adult Groot, which is my favorite version of Groot. But yeah. Um. But like obviously like like um he came back so obviously that didn't make the this didn't make it to the um the um what should we call it um the top um top sad scenes all right so yeah um here we got Loki I wanted to add it you know what I'm saying but obviously the Loki show you know what I'm saying so yeah obviously this but this scene is still sad super sad and yeah um Uncle Ben uh, Uncle Ben's death scene is super sad. You know what I'm saying? I, obviously, I was gonna put it in like in the um top, but like no offense, but like 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 it's super sad. Don't get me wrong, it's super sad, but like it was inevitable. You know what I'm saying? It's super ine ev inevitable. Like like no matter what Spider Man movie ma they make, like like no matter what, it's either gonna be Aunt May or Uncle Ben who dies. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Then here we got Aunt May. You know what I'm saying? With Spider Man No Way Home, her death scene was so 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 sad, and yeah, um, super sad, and yeah. Oh uh, yeah, scene was this is this scene was like crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like like we we've, we've always seen Uncle Ben die. You know what I'm saying? And then we saw Gwen Stacy, but Aunt May. You know what I'm saying? It, it was just really sad. And yeah, uh, Agent Coulson. I, okay, I was gonna put him in the top, but like obviously like Agent Agents of Shield. We're not sure if that's canon or not. You know what I'm saying? Like one moment people are saying yeah it's canon, one moment people are saying no it's not canon. And yeah, it's whatever. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, um, I was gonna include I was gonna include this, but like they said, um, they said, um, I forgot what they said. Um, oh, shoot. Um. Oh yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. Yeah, he returned in um Agent of Shield. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't want to like hundred percent put him on the list. But yeah, still sad. And obviously we got Patrick Stewart's um Professor X. Okay, obviously I want I wanted to add I wanted to add um him. 
But um, I wanted to add him, but like, no offense, but like he died in Last Stand, right? And then he dies again in um Logan. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, so it's like we kind of already seen him like die again. So it wasn't really top, but it's still sad. You know what I'm saying? It's still sad. And obviously the X Men Days of Future Past uh death scenes. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was I, obviously I was gonna include. I mean, no, I mean I wasn't gonna include this because like, like obviously like they reset the timeline and they all go. They all are alive in the end. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, still sad. I remember watching this movie and like being like, like no, I don't want them to die. No, this and that. You know what I'm saying? And like yeah, it was super sad. And yeah. And then here we got Vision. Um, Vision's death. Um, I yes, I know he returned in uh, Wanda Vision, whatever. But um, that wasn't like the real him. You know what I'm saying Wanda created him. Like, like it was super sad. You know what I'm saying? Like, like literally Wanda had to kill the love of her life. You know what I'm saying? Just to see him die again. You know what I'm saying? And she didn't want to do it. That was the last thing she ever wanted to do. But like, you know what I'm saying? It's either like. You know what I'm saying? This guy was going to come, take his stone, and kill half the world. You know what I'm saying? So, obviously, she did what she had to do. And then, she, they, Danos resets it and, like, kills him. You know what I'm saying? Kills him. So, she sees him die twice. You know what I'm saying? Actually, three times in, in, um, in WandaVision. But, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, it's super sad. And, yeah.